Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf Airsoft Gaming, and today I'm going to be back with the second part of the unboxing series for this week, which is a package from ebike.com. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about what's inside, so I'll just go ahead and open it and see what's inside. Okay, so, um... Get that out of the way. I'm pretty sure this is the bottom of the box, but regardless. Uh, first on the list, a pack of 12 Thunder Bee cores. Uh, these are the, um, I guess, tactical version? I have no idea. They're whatever model. They look like flashbangs. So, take that out of there. Um, this is my H2O pouch for uh, the water that I'll be carrying, and that'll be put on my belt. What else? This is a bladder after my, this one was like 10 bucks. My camelback got infested by fire ants, and I just kind of decided to abandon that. So I got this cheap one. I believe it's made by Emerson. And again, really cheap, but I'm sure it'll get the job done. Uh, next. I've actually got two of these, uh, which are the double M14 pouch. Uh, each of these will hold four M14 magazines or similar, or two HK417 magazines, which is what these are intended for. There's the first one, and here is the second one. Okay, so after that, uh, I've got a triple SMG pouch for my GAP. Um, we'll get into that a little bit later. Armor Claw OD green gloves, since my dog chewed through my tan ones. Uh, two of the Echo One Gat um, mid caps. These are extremely nice and full metal, and they do weigh quite a bit. Okay, moving on. What is this? This is a two point sling. Um, I think this was like 15 bucks. Absolutely ridiculous, but. I kind of needed it in a hurry. Um, what, oh, these are the Tokyo Marui MK23 magazines, OEM by evike.com, uh, with reinforced fill and uh, release valves. These are really nice and full metal. Um, they will require a bit of modification to work with the Tokyo Marui. And there are three of them in here. Continuing, uh, we've got some parts from Thunderbee for my damaged core. Uh, this is the spoon, which I needed because that plastic piece broke, and I believe this one might even be metal. Yeah, it is, so it won't be breaking again. And of course, uh, 12 pins, because you can never have too many. And for the last item, this is a, and this will be painted because I'm not wearing it again. Um, it's a backpack. So nothing too special there. Um, this was my second package today. I've got one more, which I'll cut to now. Uh, just another quick addition I figured I would add. Uh, this is a package, this is the latest one from the last one. This will be tagged in one of the videos, probably the last one. This is my Falcon Tactical uh, face mask. It's got this white on it. Uh, I don't know, I might spray paint it black, but... Uh, regardless, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to mate this to your eyewear and either leave it at that and also how to attach it to your helmet so you can have the system that I run, which is extremely simple. Um, that'll be explained later. So back to the original unboxing. Okay, so that'll wrap it up for the second unboxing day. Um, I don't think I really have anything else coming besides some small stuff in the mail, so... I may or may not make a video about that, but thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them down below, and I will be doing some more videos in preparation for Operation Overwatch 2 this December. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.